Testosterone is an example of a steroid hormone. What does that mean? You might remember from previous biology classes that steroids are lipid based. And so interestingly, steroids um, can be absorbed through the surface of the skin. They pass through the plasma membrane of your cells and they can actually get into the nucleus and interact directly with the DNA. So for example, you could use testosterone cream um, and you could also use estrogen and progesterone cream and you would be able to see an elevated level of that in your body. So the testosterone is oftentimes considered just a male hormone, but testosterone is actually also found in females. So it is um, an androgen that is produced by the adrenal glands as well in the testes. So uh, females differ in their testosterone levels, but in general, they have lower testosterone levels than males. So if we look at the function of testosterone, early on during embryonic development, it plays a really important role in um, determining sex differences, like even in the appearance of the external genitalia. So it regulates the development of internal as well as external genitalia. So interestingly, there have been females, um, female uh, children, for example, that might have had adrenal glands malfunctioning and producing way too much testosterone. And so even though they were female, when they were born, they were born looking like a male. And when they repair or fix or somehow manage the overactive um, adrenal glands, then they actually have to go in and surgically change the genitalia of the individual to fit the, um, the, genetic, um, uh, the genetic sex. So females would be modified to look like a male because they only look like a male because their adrenal glands were producing way too much testosterone early on during embryonic development. Okay. So when we look at testosterone levels, it's kind of interesting. When we look at early on, we see that testosterone levels are kind of high. So this is in the blood. So this would be three to nine months. And so then you're born. And then there's a peak of estrogen again, or excuse me, testosterone again. And then testosterone levels stay low until puberty. So we can see some of the changes um, that, are, that, that are caused by um, testosterone um, being produced in um, um, people at puberty. So at puberty, okay, it causes um, enlargement of the larynx. We talked about um, that as a, um, uh, the voice box. So the vocal cords, the Adam's apple, and this causes a deepening of the voice. It also causes um, the appearance of hair, like facial hair and pubic hair. Maybe hair underneath your armpits, for example, would also. Um, interestingly, later in life, testosterone in some males causes hair loss. So um, uh, that is unfortunate <laughs> mutation that arose in Europe and is called, caused um, balding, male pattern balding. We can also say that it increases uh, muscle mass. Males tend to have more muscle and also bone density. It influences or increases sexual drive. And it also increases sperm production.
So um, people sometimes use steroids inappropriately. Like for example, if they want bigger muscles, maybe they could just use what is referred to as anabolic steroids. However, too much testosterone is actually a bad thing. So too much testosterone can actually cause the um, genitalia to um, shrink, for example, and for there to be low sperm count. So if you have too much testosterone, this can lead to low sperm count, can build bigger muscles, but it also causes um, shrinking of the testicles and perhaps um, impotence. So impotence would be not being able to have the male sexual response. It can also damage your liver and cause all kinds of other problems. So it could um, lead to problems with high blood pressure and cholesterol. It could increase your risk of blood clots. It can make you um, um, inappropriately aggressive, right? So this would be a reasons not to use um, testosterone as an anabolic steroid. Um, and there's, um, so that the testosterone needs to um, be um, regulated at the proper level. And what happens if you go off of it? So what ha might happen if you went off of it, then your testosterone might be too low. And just like with other drugs, it's gonna take you a while to get back to a homeostatic balance. The other thing that's interesting about testosterone is, is that you'll notice that it drops off a little bit um, as you age. And so oftentimes we only think of this as in terms of females losing fertility and having changes in their hormone levels as they age, but males do as well. So like after the age of 60, you can see a drop off of um, uh, sperm produced as well as testosterone levels. And some people have uh, named that viropause so that the males actually become more aggressive, maybe they become more nurturing as their testosterone levels decrease.